Hello auto lovers, welcome back to Auto Universe channel, we hope you guys in good health. Today we gonna show you 2023 Mercedes-Benz GLC 300 walk around and review, and explain the details of the car, we hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos, thanks for watching. 2023 Mercedes-Benz GLC class starting at $48,250. Following the introduction of the redesigned C-Class sedan, Mercedes-Benz has performed a similar makeover on the 2023 GLC class SUV. Mechanically similar to the sedan and like the sedan equally hard to tell from its predecessor, the 2023 GLC shares the C-Class's standard turbocharged 4-cylinder engine, 48-volt hybrid system, and 9-speed automatic transmission, a plug-in hybrid model will join the lineup later on. The GLC's interior gains the same tech upgrades as the C-Class sedans, including the large, vertically-oriented touchscreen infotainment display and advanced driver assistance features. The styling makeover has resulted in subtle visual differences between the new GLC and the old one, but a slight stretch in overall length improves cargo space. What's new for 2023? The GLC class is all new for 2023 and although the outgoing model was offered in both a square back and coupe body style, the updated version of the fastback model will enter the fray for the 2024 model year. We go with the mid-range exclusive trim, which had several niceties that are well worth the price increase. Those features include in-dash navigation, a 360-degree exterior camera system, a multicolored interior ambient lighting system, and a premium Burmester stereo system. The GLC comes standard with rear-wheel drive, but all-wheel drive is available on all trims as an option. Engine, transmission, and performance. All 2023 GLC class models will wear the GLC 300 badge and are powered by a smooth-running turbocharged 2.0-liter four-cylinder engine. A 48-volt hybrid system helps augment the powertrain, which is good for 255 horsepower. A 9-speed automatic transmission is standard as is rear drive, and Mercedes's Firmatic all-wheel drive system is optional. The all-wheel drive GLC 300 we tested hit 60 miles per hour in a respectable 5.6 seconds, which is slightly quicker than the last BMW X3 we tested. The GLC's road manners, however, are less engaging than the BMW's, with a focus on smoothness and isolation rather than athleticism. The steering lacks feel, but pitched into a corner the Mercedes can come out the other side just fine, it just doesn't entertain in the same way some of its rivals do. Interior, Comfort, and Cargo the GLC class's cabin wears nicely chosen upscale materials and a modernized design with more interestingly shaped air vents on the dashboard and heavily digitized control of the infotainment and HVAC systems. A new steering wheel features touch-sensitive control buttons, which didn't work particularly well in the C300 sedan, and all models come standard with heated front seats with memory settings and adjustable lumbar support. Ambient lighting, a power-operated sunroof, and a power rear liftgate are also standard. Like other Mercedes models, the GLC class can be heavily optioned with a host of luxurious features, including a panoramic sunroof, illuminated door sill plates, ventilated seats, a heated steering wheel, and leather upholstery. Fuel Economy and Real World MPG The EPA estimates that the all-wheel drive GLC class will be good for 23 miles per gallon city and 31 miles per gallon highway, with the rear-wheel drive model expected to offer slightly better numbers. When we get a chance, we'll take the GLC 300 on our 75 mph highway fuel economy test route and publish its results here.